Memory Basics When we declare variables, they will take up space in working memory, RAM. Our program interfaces with the operating system, and the operating system provides virtual memory addresses for those variables. Different data types require different amounts of space in memory. Boolean and character take one byte each, integers and floats take four bytes, and doubles take eight bytes. One byte is eight bits, and these bits contain zeros and ones to represent data. In decimal, we have the ones place, tens place, hundreds place, and so on. This is base 10. 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1st, and 10 to the 2nd. Binary is base 2, so its places are 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, and 2 to the 2nd, which gives us the 1's place, 2's place, 4's place, and so on. We then assign numbers to mean certain things, like capital A is 65 and capital R is 82. Since a character takes one byte, the largest number we can store here is 255. Integers and floats take 4 bytes, which increases the largest possible number they can store. The OS provides the program a virtual memory space to work with each run. The normal variables we've been using so far will be stored in stack space memory. Memory in the stack space is allocated and freed automatically, however, there is limited space here. When we run out of stack space, we get a stack overflow error. Also, when we don't initialize variables that have basic types like ints, floats, and so on, then the default value is whatever data was in that memory space. This gives us garbage. We can get the memory address of a variable by prefixing its name with the address of operator, which is ampersand. Each time we run the program, our variables may have different memory addresses. We can also use the size of function to see how much space a variable or data type takes up. Next time we'll talk about pointers, we just had to get some concepts out of the way first.